Hey folks, it is August 19th, 2022. It's been an incredibly busy week here at Boardwalk Hall. Uh, I forgot it's tourist season, so they have recitals every day. Lots of people practicing, harder to find time to make videos because the organ's just being used all the time, which is great actually. So I was thinking about doing separate videos for the percussions and other things, but I'm just gonna uh, wrap all of this up into uh, one video that I'm just gonna call odds and ends. So uh, here you go. Uh, percussions. So I did the video about all the percussions in the organ and uh, found out that unfortunately uh, none of the traps are operating. They're, they're not, I don't know if they're not winded or disconnected or both or what, but they're, they're not operating. None of the traps are. They have the little red dots on the uh, stop tablets indicating non-operational. And as far as the tune percussions go, uh, not all of them are quite going but there's a couple of them so i'll show you those <clears throat> so in the uh on the left side over there we have the uh, marimba harp it says harp marimba so it's not the same thing as the harp with metal bars but with um rosewood bars and it's I have the eight and the four on to, to get enough notes going to be able to hear it well. The guts of the thing have been redone, but the hammers haven't. So you have that up at the very top of the chamber, and then you have the glockenspiel at the bottom of the chamber, and I'm putting the, on the four and two glockenspiel again to get enough volume and notes working. There's a lot of flies in the hall uh, these days. <laughs> I don't know where they all come from, but you're gonna see me swatting them away sometimes. And then over on the right side, we have the uh, metal harp, which is not operating. You can hear the pneumatics trying to move, but it, it doesn't, uh, it's not operating. But the real star of the show is the xylophone, which is absolutely magnificent and is just by default a re -it. Available at four and two. And both. That reverberates through the hall. I mean, through the, through the entire room. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, so uh, when I did that video demonstrating the 32 foot uh, stops in the pedal, somehow I forgot the bombard and uh, people let me know that I forgot it. So for you, here you go. Here's the, uh, the Contra Bombard over on pedal left on 50 inches of wind. There's something wrong with C. I think it's out for work or something. Bottom octave.
another thing that was asked for was um, putting them all on at once. Well, um, okay, yeah, why not? I've got everything set up. So if you want to hear all eight 32s going at the same time, here's, here's what it sounds like. I have to remember to put on, should be right there. a racket and if you put, play it with something it of course it sounds better Last up, uh, you know on YouTube, I think there's a, a video, uh, the world's most dangerous organ stop, 120 foot resultant, you know, that. Well, this organ is capable of doing that in theory. I've tried it before and I didn't think it sounded that great, but um, you know, the camera's set up and everything, so why not try it? So if you're wondering what happens when you do a 128 foot resultant on this organ, I'll, I'll play it. So I'm putting on the 64 foot Dulzian voice 17 with the 42 and two thirds Dulzian and then the uh, 32 foot Contra Bombard on Bombard, Bombard on that side just to give it some pitch definition because otherwise it's just a bunch of rattling and banging sound and it's hard to tell even what note you're playing so here it is 32 42 and two thirds and 64. I can actually hear the 64 foot resultant in that, but now we go down another octave. Personally, I can't make heads or tails out of that, but that's what it is. So I'm going to wrap that up. I don't know if there's going to be any more time for videos this visit, but uh, if there are, I'll turn them out. See ya.